Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Today is the anniversary of the death in 1890 of John Henry Newman. He was a, a, a Christian leader of the 19th century, started off as an evangelical Anglican, um, eventually converted to Roman Catholicism, uh, became a cardinal, and uh, was eventually made a saint by the current Pope. He's uh, known for, uh, 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 among other things, uh, a wonderful poem, The Dream of Gerontius, set to the most beautiful music by Edward Elgar. And it's the story of uh, a dream that Gerontius has um, of dying and entering purgatory. Purgatory, the place where in Catholic doctrine we are purged of everything that prevents us being acceptable uh, for our entry into heaven. Uh, it, I think it's a, a wonderful poem, although it's, of course, very Victorian in its imagery and its, its language. Uh, one thing that struck me uh, as I looked at it again as particularly interesting is the notion that one of the things that happens when we die is that we discover the truth about ourselves. When Gerontius steps into this new life beyond death, he says an inexpressive lightness and a, a sense of freedom is what he experienced. As I were at length myself and ne'er had been before. He discovers for the first time who he really is. And of course that's good and bad I guess. You know we, we perhaps realise the things about us that are good but also perhaps things about us that are not so good that we didn't realise. And I do think that one of the things about heaven, about judgment, uh, about whatever lies beyond the grave, is that in the presence of God we see ourselves as we really are. Uh, I don't think necessarily God sits over us as a, as a judge, that we are our own judges as we see the truth about ourselves probably for the first time. But then uh, in another passage, um, Newman goes on to describe this experience that Gerontius is having, how sweet it is, the deep rest, so soothing and so sweet, uh, hath something too of sternness and of pain. Well, I think the sternness of pain comes from this awareness that Gerontius is now seeing himself as he really is for the first time, but the soothing sweetness, the sense of peace, the sense of stillness that he also experiences is, is perhaps the other side of it, uh, that when we go um, into the life beyond death, um, we are judged because we see ourselves as we really are when compared with the beauty and love of God, but we also experience a, a sense of peace, a sense of being soothed, a sense of mercy, a sense of being accepted. And so today uh, I, 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 you know, I invite you to, to uh, consider what your, 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 your view is on um, what happens um, when we die. Uh, it may be that you think nothing it does, or you may have a very orthodox Christian view. But um, my view, which I don't think is very far from being orthodox, is that it is uh, an entry into a presence of a God who loves us and whose love shines a light on us that helps us to see uh, ourselves for the first time and know ourselves for the first time, um, but also a, a God who, having seen us, uh, helps us to learn to accept ourselves because God accepts and loves and delights in who we are.